Hi Techies and welcome to my channel. So we are continuing the BNB PowerShell series. And in this video, we will take a look at how can we get a SharePoint list, how can you create a SharePoint list, and how can you delete the SharePoint list using BNB PowerShell. So let's get started. First, let's connect to the tenant. Connect BNB online. URL. Now connect to the SharePoint site in which you would like to work with the list. So I do have a site called sales. Credential. Get. Get credential. Okay. Let's pass the username. Alright. Let's pass the password. Okay. And this should connect to the tenant and to the other site. Okay, now let's see whether do we have a specific list already exist in the site or not. To do that, we will use get PNP list. We will use get PNP list. The name of the list I would like to check as products. Throw exception if list not found. You can use this switch. So let's go ahead and execute this. And you can see it has thrown an exception that list does not exist okay so let's go ahead and now create a list you'll say new and p list we will say title so title will be products you will also need to pass url and the url would be lists slash slash products we will also say we'll also have to pass template and for now we would like to go with the generic list you can also go with the template you can also create the list using a template and in this case you have to pass the name of the template while you are passing the template parameter so for now let's go with the generic list hit enter and this should create a new list as you can see it has returned back the message so let's go back check the sales site we should have a products list let's go to site content and there you have it you can see a list called products got created you can also enable versioning. You can make the list hidden. You can also enable the content approval and you can also set list to be displayed in the on quick launch by passing the different parameters in the new PNP list. Now let's go ahead and delete this list. So to do that, we can use remove PNP list. We'll say identity and then the list name okay so let's go ahead hit run it'll ask for the confirmation do you want to remove a list yes you want to remove a list and it has removed the list so let's go back now if we refresh the page we would not see product list and there you see the product list has been deleted so I hope this simple example helped you to understand how do you create how do you get and how do you delete a SharePoint list using PNP PowerShell. Now, if you would like to create a document library instead of a list, then let's go ahead and create that. So to do that, we will say new PNP list. We will go for title, products, documents. Let's call this a name of the document library. And we will use template. And here we will say document library, okay? Let us also set the content type. Enable versioning, let's go for that as well. Enable content type, let's go with that as well. So on quick launch, okay? Let's go ahead, hit enter. It should create the new document library and set all these properties and settings. So we have got the library created 
let us go back and validate that now we don't have a document library displayed here let's go ahead hit refresh and you will see product documents document library is created let's open that let's go to the library settings more library settings and first let's go ahead and check the versioning settings you can see create major and minor versions are set because we had already set enable versioning we also have enable content types so let's go ahead and check the content types as well you can see content type is enabled with the document content type set as default and we already see product documents on the quick launch which is for setting the third property which we just saw okay so this is how you can also work similarly like a list with exactly the document library as well i thank you for watching the video